In this video, we're going to be battling every single arena challenger in the arena. Yes, you guys heard me right. We're battling nearly every single arena challenger who dare opposes us in the Prodigy Arena. Hey, what's going on everyone? One Doctor your genius here, and welcome back to the Prodigy video. So right over here, you guys can see we have Clankbot, and now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fighting all of the Arena Challenger people, right? And I'm your host, One Doctor Genius, and let's get on straight into our video. Alright, now let's go fight against our next opponent. So now it seems like our next opponent is Lillian, the pet enthusiast. Now it seems like we're going up against Lillian. Lillian is the pet enthusiast. Lillian knows everything there is to know about pets, from their favorite activity to, to their favorite flavor of yogurt. She hopes one day to befriend all kinds of pets and earn the title of Pet Master. Well, unfortunately, that's not possible anymore in Prodigy. Well, either way, let's just challenge her and steal her gold, right? We're that close to getting the duelist armor, so I really want that, so let's just instantly, like, one-tap Lillian. Alright guys, here we go, we're casting our spell, which should do 5,000 damage, meaning we will be able to, like, in 6 attacks, we will be able to take out their entire enemy team, which isn't too much, so let me just quickly take care of that. Alrighty guys, here we go, we're casting our spell, which should do enough damage to take out the monster in front, so now it seems like Lillian will have to switch to her wizard so we can actually defeat them. Or not, seems like they don't want their wizard, well... That's simple, we can just take out the Cerisiquities. Huzzah! Another question answered correctly, and another 5,000 damage shell. So it seems like the Cerisic is almost dead as well. So now I think we should be able to easily take out Lillian and, well, yeah, the Cerisic. So let me just quickly do that. Alrighty guys, here we go, we're casting the spell Falling Star Smash, which should have dealt enough damage to take out the Cerisic. So now it seems like Lily and the Wizard will have to come up front with 7,000 health. That isn't too much, we will be able to two-shot Lily. No, this is unfair. Ah, yay, we answered the question correct without answering it wrong for the first time. Woohoo, yeah, there we go. 5,000 damage dealt, meaning we just need to cast one more attack and then Lillian shall be defeated. Now, it does seem like they're casting their spell Supernova, which isn't actually too much to me, so yeah, let's just keep on moving. We are casting the last spell which is needed to defeat Lillian, who is basically in charge of this arena up till the dealer's robe. Now that we've defeated Lillian, we will be able to collect our 500 gold and move on and battle the wizard who has the duelist robe himself. Right, so let's just quickly collect our 32 battle stars and our 15 member stars. Here we go, let's open up the chest and let's collect our gold, which it should be 500. Now that we've collected our gold, we can finally challenge the guy who will give us their dealer's robe. Alright guys, so over here we have Karathius. Now, we're gonna be battling him in order to get their dealer's robe. It's not real fur that Karathius wears. Though his outfit correctly symbolizes his power and respect for all beasts, he never enters combat without a pet, though he without a pet, though he insists on referring to them as his brothers. Right, so from battling this guy, we'll be able to get ourselves the duelist robe, and it seems like this guy has the title The Beast Master. So without further ado, let's battle and one tap the Beast Master. This will be fun, right? Yeah, I think it will be. So now it does say this guy is the beast master, so he shall be entering in with his beasts. But over here, I have a secret weapon, which is the all out attack. So this guy is gonna get obliterated instantly. Let me just quickly do that. How what bunga it is! We are casting our spell, which should be able to do approximately 
well, 20,000 damage in total. And there you guys go, we just one-tapped the entire enemy team, and now we've defeated five opponents and moved further up the mountain of almost winning the battle. Yeah, English, yeah. Woohoo! Right, so now it does seem like this guy was at level 70. I don't know, I didn't check his level before, like, constantly obliterating him. But yeah, there you guys go. It seems like we got ourselves the duelist robe and 100 gold. So if you guys ask me, this is actually pretty cool. I mean, we just got ourselves the duelist robe. Why not? Let's equip it. Items, outfits, let's hop down. Duelist robe! La, la, la. And you guys can tell that the robe looks pretty cool. It seems like it has a blackish, purple, yellow white color theme right you guys can tell it looks pretty cool all right guys so basically the information about to do this robe is the robe of one of the greatest wizards in the academy and it seems like this can do a heart bonus of six so it isn't too bad right it isn't too bad nor is it too good the highest heart bonus which you guys can get from armor as of right now is 10 so it's not too far away Right, so if you guys ask me, this looks like uh, some good armor, so let's test it out in a battle. Alright, we have finally defeated Karathius, so let's go and test out this armor. Right, let's take off everything else. Bam, bada bang. And yeah, there we go, we only got Karathius' armor, so let's see how good this looks in battle. So it seems like that the armor increases our base wizard health by about a thousand, so it's not too good, nor is it too bad. I guess a hard bonus of six is basically a thousand health extra. So if you guys ask me, it's not too bad. Now what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna equip everything and battle the monster. Alright guys, so if you look at the design, it does look pretty cool. Seems like they have um, purple gems for shoulder pads and basically a completely blue undercoat rather than it being black. And it seems like they do have themselves a, um, what do you call it, those yellow outlinings for all of their stuff. But yeah, all in all, I would recommend its in-game design at a, like 8 out of 10 because it does look pretty cool. And yeah, guys, I think that's going to be all for this video. I hope you guys found this video entertaining. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs. And I will be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time. Ooh, Fallen Star.